Oh my gosh, that guy is incredible. I, <clears throat> you know, I, I love Kerry. Yeah. We, another one that we grew up together, because my father wrestled his father back in the 60s, right? And, oh my God, I mean, that was the biggest deal at the time, because they sold out the Sportatorium in, in Dallas, every, uh, what, it was 52 weeks in a row. So anyway, um, their family was close to mine. They lived, you know, really close. We all played together, whatever. And uh, Carrie was, there were all of the Von Erics, such good hearted person, you know, people. Right. And uh, I was with David when he passed. Oh, you were there in Japan? Yes, yes. Wow. And uh, it was crazy terrible, you know, I mean, you know, it was just amazing. He was probably the best worker. Out of the whole? Of the whole. Absolutely. David was incredible. Um, but Carrie, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know if you remember that night. We, uh, was, it, I think it was that night when we pulled off his leg. I was going to ask you, were you, were you at the show when that happened? I pulled it off. I mean, I grabbed his other foot, Paul grabbed his other foot right. and he wasn't supposed to. And I would, I mean, we were just supposed to pull him out of the ring. And I remember it came off and I was going, what the fuck just happened, man? And you know, Paul just, I mean, we, I, I don't know if it, yeah, but I mean, I remember it was me and Paul that pulled him out and his foot came off. And he just, just he, when he freaked out, grabbed, put the boot right back on. So he totally pretty much kayfabe the entire locker room. Exactly. Yeah. No one knew. Wow. Nobody. Did he open up after that? No. He still just, okay. It's like kayfabe happened. to everybody. Speaking of Kerry, everyone knows the infamous uh, Von Erich stories about, you know, the behavior and the partying and stuff like that. What are your take on the, uh, the Von Erich story as far as, like, the, those guys outside the ring and, and being wild and crazy? Hey, I mean, I can't talk about anybody, you know, but uh, I'll tell you this, man. They're, uh, I don't know how to say it, but they were great guys. I respect them so much, and uh, they lived their lives like they wanted to. You they ended it. They ended it short. But you know what, man? I mean, they were great, great guys. Do you think it had to do with their upbringing? Maybe some of them didn't want to be in the business, like Mike and <clears throat> Chris. I, I couldn't tell you. I right. really could. You know, that's. I mean, beyond, I just knew that they were great in the ring. That was it. You know. Any good Von Erich stories on the road traveling with these guys? Yeah, and this is the greatest. In fact, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> It was just me and Carrie and Paul. We went to, oh, I don't know if Paul was there. Um, yeah, anyway, we were uh, <laughs> in Puerto Rico one night and I, I was uh, at the building and I was, I just finished wrestling and Carrie was like two matches after the main event and he was wrestling, uh, what's his name? Uh, Carlos Colon. Right. And uh, he came in and he was, so fucked up and he was late as shit because he was on his music was going when he came in wow and they go carrie you are fucking on go 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 right and he just pulling on his pants and and then he ties his boots and he just jets to the ring and we're all going oh my god man <laughs> He had tied the, the damn chair to his boots, wow. <laughs> and he dragged the chair all the way to the ring. <laughs> we're going, oh my god! I've heard that story a lot of different different places and stuff like that. No, that was Puerto Rico for wow. sure. I mean, I'm right there. I remember this so clearly too. Oh. And then, um, uh, oh well, I mean, that was I mean that was just a classic. He was so funny. 